first instance was a conversation that we had um, after I'd been out to see Blackwatch in, in America and on my way home the assistant director one night said I'm going to take you somewhere and it was the Gleason's gym which is a world famous gym that's in Brooklyn but it's very it's just hidden it's a doorway on the street and it goes upstairs to this big gym and I remember going in there at about 10 at night I was only there for about 10 minutes and then when I came back I said to Scott I'd, just one of those moments where you're you just into, you get entered into this world that you knew about but you've never had an experience of and I knew Scott had been a, a, a lifelong boxing fan and we'd never despite knowing that we'd never really talked about it being a, a, a reason for making a piece of work it hadn't really crossed our minds I think what um, interested me was the fact that this account Stephen gave was was of his first time his first introduction to boxing whereas I like Sim said, I've always been a fan of boxing, but it was on the screen and on on telly. I hadn't actually got involved in it at all. But listen to Stephen, it it broke it all down for me. So I experienced it through his eyes for the first time. So things like uh, the sweat, the focus, the smell, the energy, the noise. The thing with working with Brian is that she's very she's a very open writer, and in some ways she creates text that's open for us to play with. And so as a result of that, it doesn't. It's not a finished draft that comes into the rehearsal room, so we're still looking at developing the work as a, as a piece of text, although it's fairly close to being what it, what it needs to be and what it will be. Um, so that's settling down, but it's taken us a week and a half to even pick up a, a script. What's very, very different on this project to another one is that on another project, we create choreography, the risk is that an audience doesn't like it. <laughs> but with this, it's not just that they might not like it, it's they'll say it's wrong, because the actors there's, there's a very, very real reference point for them, and that is highly trained, highly efficient boxers. And we've got to look like that, mm. as well as deliver on a more theatrical level. We're quite careful about the bands that we work with, and I guess Underworld just have a very, a very uh, dark intensity to them. They were an obvious choice for us. It was only a case of them saying yes. I think in terms of the questions that the, that the piece presents, I think I think they're, they're valid and they're good, and in, and the, and the show it doesn't. There's no saccharine element to the piece either. Um, and I, to, but to be honest, I think if, if you're coming to see a frantic show, then I think we'd be doing you a disservice if we did kind of make things sweet. I think it's an expectation of the, of the work to push buttons.